They say today's society is a modern society. The world is filled with great people, fast builders, highly developed technology, as if the characteristic of a prosperous nation. But behind this beautiful story, the global community must face issues. Earth is now a very dense planet. One of the issues faced is poverty. Poverty can cause social inequality. The Sumeru Research Institute revealed that children who grew up in poor families tend to have an income gap with people who live in non-poor families. As a result of human activities, now the air is not on our side, and the temperature is heating up to extremes. Every day, humans are forced to languish in air-conditioned rooms. Rising temperatures cause severe droughts in parts of the world. Forests burn. Sea levels rise drastically, causing extreme storms. Coastal cities are swept away and floods kill thousands and displace millions of people. People had to flee to higher ground. Through visual communication design, we will visually see how severe all the social problems that occur in Indonesia are. or you can call me MT. I'm an illustrator and visual artist based in Jakarta. Uh, yeah, as mentioned before, I'm exhibiting in some countries and thank you for inviting me for this event. Uh, okay, for the presentation, can I... Uh, who's going to share the presentation, me or the host? Okay. Yes, yes, Mr. MT. Uh, who's gonna share the presentation? Uh, who's gonna share the file? Uh, is it shared from me or from the? Ah, uh, yeah. So the. Okay. Also, uh, I think we uh, you, you have sent the uh, the presentation, right? Yeah. Okay, I sent so, it to Sahal yesterday. Oh, okay. So I, I think we should wait a few minutes. So, Mister, where do you currently reside? Are you still doing uh, overseas, or are you still doing things domestically? Well, uh, right now I'm doing some domestic projects. Not have any plan for exhibition overseas because uh, I don't know what what the future holds. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, 
right now I'm more uh, concentrating on some commercial projects. I see, I see. I heard there's a lot of activism, you know, activism projects these days because, you know, there's stuff like, uh, you know, uh, pay gap, stuff like that. Maybe, uh, are you interested in doing some of those uh, social work? Yes, of course, because yeah, yeah, uh, because that's uh, social. That means you can contribute to society as well. Usually, for DKV, what kind of works uh, can you contribute? Actually, because you know, I'm actually from an engineering uh, department, so it's you know very straightforward. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, uh, as a designer or illustrator, usually you make an artwork or, or drawing and maybe you can make some artwork based on a social issue and you can raise some awareness for people for making a better environment for living. Mm, I and see, but, okay. uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but I heard okay, that being a good artist mm -hmm. means that you have to be a more uh, popular in case for activism work because because you know like uh, have you heard about Greta she's quite popular and that's why yeah. she can yeah. get her ideas across is it the same thing for uh, visual designs yeah but uh, but yes yeah, since we uh, you know since the the designer is uh, the man behind the desk. So I think uh, popular in 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 this term is uh, not not the, not her not his face or her face is 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 known by by people. But yeah, the artwork is the uh, the artwork should be popular, not the not the artist or the designer. Mm, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I think the the slide is already open. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you can now please go ahead and share uh, some of your knowledge to us, please. Thank you. Okay, um, next. Yeah, this is my personal project uh, during pandemic because uh, everybody knows that because pandemic, many people cannot meet physically and communicate communicate physically. So. Thanks, thanks to technology, we can we can still communicate doing a conference room like Zoom or Google Meet, and suddenly it changes how we communicate. So, okay, okay, Zoomer is uh, based on you know some of uh, people uh, comments when they say about uh, the older people say something that makes them uncomfortable or to what uh, <laughs> so they 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 usually call it uh, okay boomer no i make it as a, okay zoomer okay next yeah uh, i make people sitting uh, on a cafe on, on on his room maybe because uh, yeah everybody everybody cannot go out so everybody working from from house okay next okay next Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not a fan. I'm not used to speak a lot because <laughs> I think my my artwork or my design it can speak themselves. So I hope everybody can get the message about uh, we can still communicate through technology. <laughs> That's it. Okay. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. MT. I think it's, uh, it's time for question and answers, perhaps. Uh, anybody here, here who would like to question for Mr. MT? We'll just make it a, 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 a what it can, a happy session, all right? So uh, I think the people from the audience perhaps has any anything to say? Okay, if if there's not that much uh, people uh, speaking, perhaps oh, yeah, we have we have someone. Okay, okay this is from Marciela from uh, Nusa Putra DKV. Uh, I think uh, she asked. Sometimes I get confused to execute the ideas I got. What first step should I take? Okay, so Mr. Hey, Marcella, uh, if you get confused, maybe you can do some sketches. Make 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 a lot of sketches because from there you can uh, you can make some option and you can choose what's uh, choose what's the better what's the better sketches. So you can develop from there. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, it's better for you to have some, uh, a lot of option and you can you can choose from there i mean uh, yeah w w when you have ideas uh, sometimes uh, one idea is not a better idea so you have to make some a lot of ideas a lot of uh, a lot of what what you want to do with the ideas okay you can make some exploration from the ideas and yeah uh that's the first steps i think you I think you, you you have to make a lot of sketches. Oh, you have. Okay, maybe I can be alone from that. Hmm. Okay, uh, because sometimes when we make, we will have a lot of sketches. So we have a lot of things. Sometimes we can get confused because, uh, oh, I think this and this could fit fit the uh, what demand what we actually need uh, how do you overcome that and how do you actually select it so it fits the most perfect criteria hmm. depending uh, it, it depends on the idea itself i mean if you want to make some ideas that uh, that you think it suits Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe you ha maybe you can beside the sketches, you can do some little research about the ideas and what uh, is this the idea that can suit the message and is it the idea that can uh, understand by by the audience and uh, try to. Try to imagine yourself as the audience, and you can you can you can see from the other perspective. I see. Okay. Uh, because as a uh, as a designer, of course, you make uh, some some artwork or design because uh, it based uh, you make the ideas based on the problem or based on the social issue, for example, and from there you can you can uh, this. The designer always makes a design for the audience, right? And uh, if you if you imagine yourself as an audience, what would you do? If uh, do you will get the message, do you will understand the, the design? Try to imagine yourself as the audience. I see. Okay, uh, because I'm actually more of uh, an academic, right? Uh, mm -hmm. For uh, visual design you know sometimes uh, there is this uh, criteria right uh, but uh, do you think that it's okay for an artist to go even though even though it's actually uh, I mean the criteria is for example a 
but I want to make my design to go a little bit different. For example, it goes from because V is actually totally different, right? But uh, I want to I want to make uh, something like A slash B, something like that. Do you think, as an artist, is it okay to do that? Because if you're in an academic or a person who's into engineering, you have to do A, you have to do A, or the tolerance is very a. small. Like that. Yeah, uh, I think art is more flexible because uh, if you make the option A slash B or uh, as long it's not uh, too too far from the from the main ideas or the main concept, I think it's okay. Uh, and that uh, that's that means you can you can you can what you can you can uh, express about the about the about your art sense maybe in, uh, as long as it, it, it does as long as it doesn't uh, um, yeah too far away from the main concept okay. so it's quite similar and there is some some things that cannot be changed for example right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, something that cannot be changed and that means you you still have some basic guidance for 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 make a design okay there is another question from uh red Sujana. one Suljana. Red, red one, Suljana. what do you think of you think about art art block? Block? is it influential yeah, art block, i think it's common everybody have an art block is it very influential for us now? what do you mean by influential is it very influential? Mm, yeah, how I, to remove I, I, an art block? Uh, Maybe you uh, do activities beside the design, uh, beside the designing or making artwork. Maybe you can you can you can uh, visiting some new places. You can you can uh, doing sports, uh, go out with your friends, watching movies reading a book yeah because you know uh, inspiration and ideas can come from everywhere okay so uh, we for uh, to summarize i think you should have to find more references or at least uh, get into the mood right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah because get in the mood. Mm -hmm. because i heard that artists sometimes when they have to work, they need to be in a good mood sometimes. Well, it depends on the artist, I have, because I have a friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I have a friend, he, he can only work like two days before the deadline. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because the deadline, they, they push you so hard, I guess. Okay, there is another question from Farrell. What, what is the best, the best way to find? Oh, the answer is both. Yeah, you have to practice every day, and your style will comes with time. Mm, I see. Even though yeah. we actually have a style that we like, for example, for example, I like yeah. uh, strong brushes like this. But uh, uh, sometimes I don't feel it looks good when I try doing that. Do you, do you think uh, I should continue or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you don't have to think about, about oh, what's, my, what's my style or what my art style because your style is something that other people must see it, not, not, not you. Yeah, I think it comes with natural. If you, if you, of course, if you have practice every day, style will comes naturally. Yeah. yeah uh, what's the matter for you is you, hey, you have you have to keep practice every day because you can explore your uh, ideas. You can explore your. Uh, techniques uh, your drawing technique or or you can 
maybe you have maybe you have talent in writing i don't know okay yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah but you, you, you have to practice every day okay uh there's another one from read one it's still talking about the art style so i think i think yeah, yeah. we can answer that yes uh, are we allowed to imitate someone's art style uh, of course it's a it's a part of the process uh, as long as you use it for uh, inspiration i think it's it's fine i mean uh, i'm uh Until this day, sometimes I I imitate someone's art. I I imitate uh, how how the art uh, how the artist is make uh, the color composition or maybe uh, how the artist make the uh, gesture. Yeah, there's 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 a lot you can learn from other artists to find your own style. So yeah, you can. Uh, And uh, that's a part of the process. It's okay. All right. I think we have another question. Uh, I think uh, you can open the camera if you want to ask. Okay. I am Sasa Bila. I want to ask you how to feel confident with your output because I have something. Oh. Hmm. How? How to feel confident with both? As, uh, be- I think because because that's your works, you made it with your own skill, your own your own. Uh, as long as that uh, the artwork is born from your ideas, yeah, I think you have. to feel more confident as long as it's your works you have to feel confident of course you don't have to i think you don't have to feel difficult because you already have confidence if you if you can make your own artworks okay i think mr sam has a question Okay, uh, hi Miss MG, good morning. Hi. Okay, uh, can you explain more about Zoomer and from your point of view, things are bad things or good things with visual perspective? And then the, my second question is, do we know about humanitarian issues? Maybe what the color represents about humanitarian issues? Humanitarian issue? Yes. Yes. Uh, sorry, what what, what what the first question? Okay, my first question is: uh, Can you explain more about Zoomer? Did it say bad things or good things with its world perspective from your point of view? For my point of view, it's a good perspective because uh, yeah, we can we can save more time, we can save more energy because we can we can still work from from uh, from. alternative uh, space or place uh, like home maybe you can do it everywhere so it can make you go uh, go everywhere and still you can be professional and you can still doing your work you can get uh, uh, income of course and uh, yeah uh, I think uh, I see it as a uh, uh, It's a technology development. I think it's good for every one of us. Uh, I think we have to adapt. Yeah, for me, as a as a person who born in the late 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 seventy uh, early eighties, uh, I'm not uh, first. At first, I I'm not uh, used for uh, meeting with Zoom or Google Meet. But now I'm getting used to it. So I think it's yeah. I think it's good for. for uh, for my for my work process because I can save more energy and save more time yeah. and for the humanitarian uh, I, I don't know uh, what's the question uh, humanitarian 
Okay, uh, when we know about humanitarian issues, can you give me some idea what the color to represent uh, humanitarian issues? Maybe we're gonna use blue or what? Humanitarian EU, yes. uh, blue. Uh, I think blue is okay because because uh, blue is make you make makes you feel calm, makes you feel secure, make you feel safe. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, connecting with with uh, human it human as a human. Uh, yeah, blue blue for me. Uh, is the color of the scene, the color of the sky, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, blue. Blue, blue can represent the humanitarian. Yeah, blue, blue is okay. Okay, yeah, because blue is color for for this. So thank you so much, Mister MD. You're welcome, my pleasure. Hey, thank you, Mister. Uh, the question. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Uh, let me introduce myself. Actually, my name is Wafa Leila Tumirogia or Wafael. Uh, I'm right now a student of design uh, communication, design eh, design communication visual in uh, three semester. Um, in the cafe, of course, there there are many subjects like uh, it is about photography, uh, illustrator or many others and me uh, especially i really curious i mean in interesting in learning about illustrations but and also i um interest in animations uh my, my question is um uh what should i focus on it is depend on what i like or what i need but before it uh could I ask uh, the question? The answer will be will be answered by Indonesian <laughs> because I'm um, got really trouble in uh, understanding English. Okay. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, apa, uh, apakah kamu harus fokus ke apa tadi yang kamu suka? Like, yeah. Or... Uh, jadi uh, sebenarnya. Uh, saya selaku anak DKV itu uh, basicnya masih suka uh, gambar ya kak tapi hmm. karena uh, di sini banyak sekali yang harus dipelajarin jadi otomatis uh, kita kita juga belajar banyak gitu nah uh, satu sisi kita juga pengen menjadi ahli gitu kan hmm. sebaik-baiknya orang itu kita menjadi ahli dalam satu bidang gitu kak jadi hmm. uh, bagaimana sih caranya kita bisa apa ya menentukan apa sih yang terbaik buat kita dalemin gitu especially in the cafe uh, or maybe yeah. Yeah. kalau sama -sama. kalau uh, kamu suka gambar itu kan bagus tapi kalau kamu mau belajar mendalami animasi itu lebih bagus lagi kalau tadi bicara soal needs kebutuhan uh, kebutuhan industrinya sama sekarang banyak kepake kalau animasi jadi uh, sebenarnya yang kamu tanya nih udah nyambung nih gitu loh kamu punya basic bisa menggambar tapi kamu pengen apa tertarik animasi gitu itu kan sangat sangat kepake gitu loh kalau bicara soal kebutuhan ya kebutuhan di luar sana banyak kepake banget apalagi sekarang eh, banyak apa orang udah berkomunikasinya lewat sosial media kan jadi eh, apa kebutuhan untuk animasi itu sangat besar sama sangat banyak gitu loh. emang eh, kebanyakan se sekarang udah Uh, kebutuhan lulusan DKV pun harus sudah menguasai animasi juga gitu karena kebutuhan pekerjaannya sekarang udah udah harus bisa animasi gitu bikin short short apa short animation atau bikin apa uh, apa konten-konten untuk uh, kampanye campaign yang di sosial media itu udah banyak pakai animasi dan emang lebih menarik kan kalau kalau apa lebih lebih apa ya lebih efektif lagi kalau pakai animasi gitu nggak cuma gambar diem jadi uh, ya pelajarin aja dari 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 sekarang gitu kalau kalau kamu udah suka ngegambar itu bagus karena gini animasi itu kan uh, kamu uh, apa harus lebih ini lagi lebih apa lebih detail lagi karena kamu harus mikirin soal uh, pergerakan uh, apa 
harmonisnya apa enggak gitu loh kalau kamu udah punya dan itu membuat kamu harus menggambar lumayan uh, lumayan sering gitu loh lumayan banyak nah, kalau kamu udah punya rasa suka sama ngegambar ya itu bagus gitu loh karena kamu nggak akan nggak akan menganggap itu masalah gitu loh. karena harus gambar lagi gambar lagi gambar.